Hello, and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. Today we're going to be looking at a concept builder on physicsclassroom.com under the topic electric circuits, and it's about Ohm's law. The title is I equals V over R dash equations as a guide to thinking. Okay, I equals V over R being Ohm's law. Let's just review quickly what Ohm's law is. I equals V over R. I equals the current which is how much charge flows past a point each second, which is amperes, also known as coulombs per second. Um, v is voltage, how much energy each charge has. Volts, which is uh, joules per coulomb. And resistance, R, which is how much a substance resists the flow of charge, measured in ohms. Um, if we look at the relationships in this equation, we see V up here in the numerator. That gives a directly proportional relationship there, meaning if I gets bigger, V gets bigger. In other words, if you push harder on the charges in a circuit, uh, and really the charges have more energy, V means they have more energy. I just like to think of it as how hard they're being pushed. Um, when they're pushed harder, they're going to move faster. And this means that the current is directly proportional to the voltage. Bigger voltage, bigger current. Smaller voltage, smaller current. The resistance, on the other hand, is in the denominator. That makes this an inversely proportional relationship, uh, which we see here. If the resistance gets bigger, the current gets smaller. So if the circuit has more resistance, it'll be harder for the current to flow, and so there'll be less current. This means the current is inversely proportional to the resistance. Bigger resistance, smaller current. Smaller resistance, bigger current. Let's get to some examples. We see the current in the wires of a circuit is 210 milliamps. If the resistance of the circuit were reduced to one third, okay, so we had the, let's use blue, that's pretty. We had the resistance changing here and it changed to one third. We divided the resistance by three and there's no change to the voltage. All right, so we started with 210 uh, milliamps. And we see that the resistance is the thing changing. Well, resistance is inversely proportional to current. When resistance gets smaller, we're dividing by a smaller number, the current is going to be bigger. Okay, so if we got three times smaller in the resistance, that means we're going to have to be three times bigger in the current. And 3 times 210 is 630. All right. Um, so next, we see, next question, we see the current in the wires of a circuit is 210 milliamps. If the voltage impressed, voltage is the thing we're going to be changing here, across the ends of the circuit, we're reduced to one-third the original value. Um, with no change to the resistance, then the new current would be, okay, so we start out with 210 milliamps. Amps. Um, and we see that the voltage is the thing changing. We look up, we see voltage is directly proportional to current. When the voltage gets bigger, the current is bigger, but in this case, the voltage got smaller, so the current will get smaller. So since the voltage was divided by 3, we must also divide the current by 3, okay, which is going to give us 210, 210 divided by 3 gives us 70, okay, cross our 7, okay. Um, all right, so then next question we combine, we have two things happening. The current in the wires of the circuit is 210 milliamps. If the voltage across the ends were doubled and the resistance were reduced to one third of their original value, then the new current would be, well, let's just go in order here. First thing we see is the voltage, which is directly proportional, doubles. So if voltage is bigger, current is bigger. So times two, if voltage doubled, this will double, the current will double. So that's gonna be 420 milliamps due to that change. But then we also have 
the change in the resistance. So the resistance is being cut to one third. Well, resistance is inversely proportional. If resistance gets smaller, current gets bigger. This got three times smaller. This gets three times bigger. Okay, so times three. Okay, which gives us 1260 milliamps. 1260. Ah, I can't quite read that, but you heard me say it. Uh, 1260 is the number there. Um, so that's how you puzzle these through. Just look at whether you're dealing with resistance or voltage. Go back to the equation. Voltage is directly proportional. Uh, resistance is inversely proportional to the current and figure out your new current. Uh, enjoy puzzling these out on the concept builder. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. Ooh, I've always wanted to say that. Thank you very much. Uh, anyways, I uh, hope you enjoy uh, puzzling through this on uh, physicsclassroom.com.